Hey everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. Today I'm going to be doing some rustic farmhouse winter DIYs for you guys today using some Dollar Tree items. Before I get started, if you're new to my channel and you want to stick around, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell before you leave so you don't miss out on anything new. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on the DIYs. All right, so for the first DIY, I'm using this five by seven wooden frame from Dollar Tree. And what I'm gonna do is just use my Waverly chalk paint and ivory. And I am just going to dry brush over that uh, just to match what else I'm going to do with it. Then I'm just gonna take out the backing of the frame and I printed out this saying, let's stay home. And I just cut it out to the five by seven size and then placed it back in my frame. However, However, I decided I didn't like the white paper background, so you'll see me later change that. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use these little wooden pieces that came from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to place them around the frame and lay them out to see if they fit right. And they actually do, they work perfectly, um, and they fit kind of down in the groove of the frame because it's not a flat frame, it kind of curves upward, so they fit perfectly down in there and then I just hot glued them all to the frame. Now here's where I changed out the picture. I just reprinted the saying out with a gray background instead of the blank white background. And I think it looks really pretty. I love how this turned out. Uh, you could put a picture in it. Um, it's perfect for the rustic farmhouse winter decor, I think. I just really love how this one turned out. Now for this DIY, I'm taking six of these snowflakes that come from Dollar Tree and I'm laying them out and just spray painting them with the mirror effect spray paint and then also a vinegar solution um, to kind of give it a mercury glass effect to the snowflakes. It didn't uh, work out as well as I thought it was going to with the mercury glass look effect. It kind of looks more of like a galvanized metal effect, but I still like the way they turned out. And now I am just taking uh, this vase from Dollar Tree. I have a bigger one and I have a smaller one and I am just wrapping some twine around the top of it and then I took my snowflakes and I wrapped some twine around the top like a hanger and now I'm hanging the snowflake from the twine that I wrapped around the top of the vase. And I am going to hang two snowflakes on this vase and then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other vase. Next, I just wanted to make my vases look like hurricanes, so I took two of these uh, glass candlesticks from Dollar Tree and I just put some hot glue on the top of them and then placed my vases on the top of the candlesticks. And you probably would want to use E6000 for this because um, the hot glue will not last for very long, but I like to reuse things, so um, hot glue is easy to take off if I want to reuse these later on. Now to fill the vases, I'm going to use this bath soak from Dollar Tree. It is vanilla scented and I'm just going to take a bottle of it and pour half in one vase and half in the other and it kind of gives it that icy snowy effect I think. And then I'm going to take two of these Dollar Tree battery operated candles and place one in each vase. I absolutely love how these hurricanes turned out. I think they are so perfect for winter. I love the snowflakes and I think they are definitely rustic and farmhousey looking. And the best part of them all is that you could change them out easily for each season. You could take the bath soak and change that out for rocks or some sort of vase filler. Um, and you could take the snowflakes off and you could have these for each season. 
This last DIY is super easy. I just went out in my backyard and cut three branches off of a tree and I'm gonna use some Epsom salts. You could get this from Dollar Tree even though mine didn't come from Dollar Tree. And then also some spray adhesive which you can get at Dollar Tree as well. Mine came from Joann's like years ago. And all I'm gonna do is spray the spray adhesive all over the branches and then just sprinkle the Epsom salt where I spray sprayed the spray adhesive at and this is going to give your branches an icy wintry look. Now I'm just going to take my branches and I'm going to use a piece of twine and just tie all three of them together. And then with the two leftover snowflakes that I have, I'm just going to tie those on to the twine as well. And then th this could be used as a vase filler or you could just lay them out, which is what I'm going to use them for. I think they turned out really pretty. I love the wintry look. I wish I had a little bit more Epsom salt um, to put on the branches because I was running low. I probably only had about a quarter of a bag left. So, but I still think they turned out really pretty and they are just shiny and look sparkly for winter. All right guys, I hope you liked this winter decor. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did. And that is it, I will see you guys next time. Take care, bye-bye.